Hello everyone and welcome back to another Makeup Declutter. This is Makeup Declutter number 18. And honestly, I cannot believe that I'm getting rid of some of these items that I'm getting ready to share with you. This is a little bit different as well. I chose to do a voiceover this time because I really wanted to give these products to my mom and sisters and I just didn't have time so I to like voice the, do the full video I just literally stuck the items in here. Well first item that I'm going to let go of is the AOA Studio Gardenia Scent Nail Polish Remember Pads. These worked great for the matte nail polish I was wearing that I demonstrated in that video but as time went on I didn't like love them. Um, so I'm going to let my mom have the rest of those. This is the Believe Beauty Light Medium Matte Blur Loose Powder. Great powder, by the way, but I find this is, pulls a little dark on my skin. AOA Studio Perfect Blush in Darling. I love the shade of this, but I have a blush that is so similar to this one. I'm just going to let this one go. Carity um, Eyeshadow Primer. I didn't really like this, so hopefully my mom and my sisters may. So let that go um some glittery mascaras and colorful purple blue green mascaras maybelline ellie colors l'oreal um nothing really wrong with them they're not old it's just that i don't pick them up so i thought maybe you know my mom would like to you know play around with them and see if she likes them so aoe studio the super the super lash adhesive in black i don't like it um, the Ellie Colors Pout Potion Lip Oil. I hate this. I love the scent. The formula is great. But I did not know at the time that it actually changed your lips. And it changes your lip to this really bright pink. Not a fan. Won't be using this. I had to declutter this. Ellie Colors Pout Lip Gloss Mattes. I love these. I've done several videos using these. I've done a full review and tips and tricks on how to make them not sticky or last longer. I love these. But I just don't reach for them anymore. And then I recently got a full set of new matte liquid lipsticks. And some of those shades are kind of in there. So I just let those go. Ellie Colors Lock It Lip Color. I've actually never used this. Never tried it out. Um, so it was just sitting in my drawer. It's time to declutter this because, once again, I got it and never used it. So that's it for that product. <laughs> Moving on to eyeshadows. The Maybelline Total Temptation palette, you cannot even get this palette anymore. I was keeping it for the highlighters in it, but as that time went on, I just didn't reach for them. They pull a little dark on my skin tone as well. The eyeshadows are okay. I mean, they're not like terrible, but you know, I just I just never use it. Now, this Ellie Colors palette in Lucky, I did recently get. I did a full video on this. I don't plan on using it again. It's all shimmery shades. Really not fantastic. And I just know that I have other green kind of palettes from Ellie Colors that I will 100% reach for before I grab this again. So, I'm just going to let it go. The Pro Fusion Beauty Book. This is actually pretty neat. I found this at Five Below. And it has... It's just an eye and face palette and it has eyeshadows in it and it has some like little eye tutorial things off to the side and it has highlighter, blush, and bronzer which the highlighter and the bronzer are too dark for my skin tone and the shadows are really beautiful. I did a true crime and makeup using this and I never picked it back up. Like the shades are so pretty but also I have a lot of Pro Fusion palettes and when I weigh this one with those I have a lot of those shades in other palettes. More Pro Fusion honestly cannot believe that I'm getting rid of Pro Fusion because I love them so much but I never reach for these palettes and some of these shades are in other palettes from Pro Fusion. That they don't change their names. So if you see one uh, you know that has the same name in other palettes like it's usually it's the same shade from double palettes so sultry wonderlust and the shimmers palette and I had um, a metallic palette and a shimmers palette I will say that if you find the metallic palette pick that one up it's way more uh, potent and pigmented than the shimmers palette formula is just better and the shades are the same 
Yes, I may have to do a video on that before, but I did already just clutter these, so I don't know. There's a chance that if you own Profusion, that you may have noticed that too, that uh, they repeat shades and palettes sometimes, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying that's why I let those go. There's a lot of great products here today. I hope Basketball. I am going to put on the screen how many products that I actually did declutter. I had to go back and recount footage or look through the footage and count through the footage. So I think I counted 24 items. That is still quite a few makeup items decluttered, some large palettes this time. And I'm just gonna keep working on my collection and decluttering when I need to because I've been hauling a lot of new makeup lately. So in with the new, out with the old. And yes, I thank you guys so very much for watching. Stay tuned for more declutter videos. Don't forget to check the description box as well as the cards for additional decluttering links. Thank you so very much for watching.